Over the past few days, I've found out about a new feature in Squarespace, which allows us to theoretically build our own templates from the ground up. Now, this sounds really exciting. It's also something I've been crying out for from Squarespace for a number of years now is more flexibility. So I've recently created a video about the new favorites feature in Squarespace, which shows how we can take a panel from a page and replicate that anywhere else in the site. But this approach, as I see it so far, allows us to really create a new website from the ground up for multiple pages, selecting the panels that are preset and pre-designed that we want. Is it going to be revolutionary? I don't know. I wanted to have a play around with the new feature and I thought I'd invite you along for the ride. So this is my very first look at the new feature and let's just see how we get on. Let's crack on. If you want an instant 20% discount from your first monthly or annual Squarespace plan, we have left instructions in the description. It is both quick and easy to claim your discount at any time of the year. Enjoy. I've hopped onto squarespace.com. As we can see in this top right hand corner, my account's logged in and I can head to the account dashboard if I want to access my existing sites. But this time we're going to start with a new site from the ground up and hopefully we'll pass the first hurdle because I'm not entirely sure where to find this new feature. I think it'll be in here though. If not, you'll probably never hear this recording as I'll have re-recorded it. So let's just see if it's in this list. I've got the option to create Squarespace 7 websites via that option there. That's not what we're after. There's also an option to add templates as our favorite. Again, that's handy, but not what we're after. Is there an option here to add a blank template? Okay, there we've got it. So after the first few best template matches, we can now see the option to build our own template. Exciting. Let's crack on. So I've opened up the new window now. We can see that there's a let's go button here. So we can also see the stages that it's going to take us through. Design our homepage, add the pages you need. So this confirms that we can create multiple page layouts, which I thought was quite essential for it. Pick a color palette and then choose our font pairings as well. So that just waited through the process of setting things up. Now we're going to put in a new site. Hadn't thought this far through. Let's go for a restaurant. Come up with a name. Uh, here we go. Hidden Garden Restaurant. Not my most dynamic or creative of names, but it's getting on in the day now and I'm quite tired. So please be with me. Okay. So now we're asking what do we need on our homepage? So let's have a look at the options here. We could go for a a hero unit like this, we can see the masthead is overlapping the hero. And that's quite a good start. So we'll go with that. Then our restaurant will have menus, it will have uh, maybe function room option, and it will also have your dining experience. So let's go for three circular signposts here. So here we can see that they're featured products, but hopefully we can change them so that they're not showing products, but, but instead showing service offerings. Then we might build an about section. I'm really liking this already uh, for when I'm providing training on how to build professional sites from the ground up. This just provides a really simple but effective starting point. I'm not fussed on a lot of these social blocks, but this one here can work quite well. So we can put an Instagram gallery feeding in to the page. We can see this banding approach happening already. We've got a background image here, white background, background color, then white background again. And so are we going to have a form in here? I think what we're going to do is we'll actually put a form in in the footer section. So we're going to have a jumbo footer with a form in there as well. But we'll go with that for now. Well, let's just try a couple of different options. Yeah, we'll go with that. And we're going to put the form and the map directly above it afterwards. Okay, so that's the home page. So we're going to want an about, we're going to want a services and a contact. We're not going to be selling online. So if we hit the next stage now, we get to choose our color packs. Okay, so this color will be predominantly navy and a stone color. So this color pack here, we're just going to go for this default option. We can then fine tune our colors at a later stage but this will give you a good idea of the tones that we're going to be looking for and the balance. I don't believe there's an option here to change the color packs. Let's have a look through some of the font options. 
Now, as a fussy designer, this could take me some time, so I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time looking through. I'm going to, I promise, pick a font that I'm happy with. I think I prefer the original font. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we'll go for this. There we go. Now I press finish, and I've just cut out most of that loading time, just so you didn't have to wait watching a loading screen. But it will take a minute or two to build your new website for you. So let's flick through the startup options that we get. Let's jump over to get started. And wow, we've managed to build our own template. Not perfect, it's not hugely detailed in terms of what professional designers will want in most cases. But if we're working with clients who we need to build websites quickly, they don't have the budget for fully bespoke experience, this is a good starting point to get them up and running. And I certainly think I can work with a lot of this. So let's just take this second section here. And we can see it's actually a list format. So with Squarespace lists, we can change the title. Let's just say uh, menus. Okay, I'm really not on form with my copywriting today. But you get the gist. So we've now been able to change those two items. We can just jump in, change the image to our own. Let's just pick something that's nice and colorful. And so without having to leave Squarespace, we're able to really sculpt the type of website that we could use as an initial starting point with a client or something that if you're going down the DIY route and building your first website, give it a go. If your approach to building a Squarespace website is successful and you're ready to pay for a subscription plan, I'd recommend going for the annual plan. And don't forget to collect your 20% discount via the information in the description of this video. Also, feel free to head over to Pixel Hay store and have a look at some of the professional templates that we've built. Any tick you fancy, you can get them at a reasonable price. Enjoy, and we'll catch you next time.